Hi squad. Last year I did this video where I recreated Sorry, that was loud. I recreated some pictures of my sister when she was 17 and I was also 17 last year. I am 18 this year. Turning 19, that's so weird. I literally feel like I'm like 35. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to do the same thing again, like recreate pictures of her when she was 18 instead of 17. And coincidentally enough, we both dyed our hair platinum blonde when we were 18. <laughs> Didn't mean to copy a girl, sorry. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun. Maybe I'll like do this as a tradition, but I'm just doing my makeup for it right now. I am sorry, I'm like looking at my monitor. I feel like I'm always looking at my monitor. I'm just doing like very natural, like everyday makeup. I'm breaking out around my mouth literally so bad. I don't know if it's stress or hormones or what it is, but. It's okay, I'll get over it. She has the same makeup in all these photos that I'm gonna recreate, so I don't really need to do my makeup any differently. She does have a few different hairstyles that I will attempt to achieve. Recently, I have been up to, what have I been up to? I'm not gonna front. I've been having like a lot of like very intense emotional breakdowns. I don't, I ain't special though. I know everyone's kind of like going through it right now. Mental health has always been something hard for me to talk about. I have made several videos in the past about mental health and my experience with depression and just a bunch of other stuff. And I ended up taking, I think all of them down just because I felt like I was oversharing. I don't know, it's just something that's really hard to talk about. Sometimes people wanna like spin it, not even just about mental health and I'm not even talking about just me, I'm talking about literally anyone. When you talk about things that aren't pretty in life, when you talk about any sort of struggle, um, a lot of people twist it to make it seem somewhat problematic because you're like talking about something that's like just not, I don't know, do you guys understand what I'm saying? I'm taking some steps to take care of it and try and get better, which is good because it's hard to do that. Can I be honest? I really, what's my next makeup step? I literally just forgot how to do my makeup blush if i'm being honest i really miss my last therapist i had she retired in like the middle of covid so i didn't get to like talk to her that many times like i didn't go to that many like different appointments with her because they switched to doing zoom and i didn't want to do that and i was like whatever it'll be just like a month or two <laughs> before i see her again and we all know that didn't work out but then she retired, so I like never even got to like say bye to her or anything, and I really, really liked her. Anyway, that's like literally not what this video is about at all. I just wanted you guys to know that I miss my therapist, but I should find a new one. I think I am gonna find a new one because I'd be thinking, unfortunately. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys are all doing well. I think in the last video that I made, I tried like pretty hard to make my features look more like hers. Um, for example, I was trying to like make my eyebrows look thinner. I don't really think I'm gonna do that for this one because I don't know, I just like don't really want to. I wanna look more like me. I'm gonna give you guys a little life hack I learned on TikTok. Waterproof mascara is the way to go. I've been wearing mascara since I was in like eighth grade. It was like the first makeup thing that I ever wore regularly. And I've always had a problem to, I've always had this problem that my eyelashes don't stay curled. I am blessed with like very long eyelashes and you like can't even tell because when I curl them, they don't stay. And my mom has been telling me for years, you should try waterproof and I never did because it's hard to get off. But I've been seeing a bunch of TikToks about people using waterproof mascara and it's staying. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to Ulta. Got this L'Oreal waterproof telescopic mascara and it's literally changed my life. Um, but if you guys really, really just don't like waterproof, I still love my item beauty mascara so much. I hope they will like make a waterproof version. Another thing I've been thinking about is like making more casual videos. For some reason, I feel like I literally have to make like TV shows and have them just like really highly produced to the best of my abilities because I do everything by myself. I film, edit, all that stuff by myself. I really want to try making more casual videos because I love casual videos. I feel like that's just what's in right now. Devin Lee Carlson's vlogs, literally, I live for it. They're just so casual, so chill. She just like vlogs her life. I mean, she definitely has a more interesting life than me, but it just is like so fun. Emma Chamberlain's vlogs and like Olivia Royer's vlogs. Also, they both have like more interesting li like lives than me. But I don't know if you guys want, not like if you guys want, I just like want to know your thoughts on like more casual videos because I love them. Can you guys see the difference in my lashes? I could fight 
Okay, I'm done. Um, I think I decided I'm gonna grow my bangs out just for a little change. Okay, I'm gonna fix this and then we're gonna start with the first picture. Look how cute this sh look how cute this shirt is that I got. I got it secondhand. I saw a picture of a shirt like exactly like this on Pinterest, but it was like tan. And I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. And then I found like a shirt that's so similar. Not with these pants, obviously. It looks bad, but for this first picture, I'm gonna slip on this dress really quick. So she's wearing like a black strappy dress. And then she also has her hair in that one hairstyle. It's like milkmaid braids where you like braid your hair and then put it over. So I'm gonna do that really quick. I went to Best Buy and got a like phone tripod that has a ring light. In this photo, she's standing in front of like a rose bush, but it's literally winter. Everything is dead. I might just have to do some Photoshop. It literally comes with like a little um, like remote to like take pictures. Okay, that was it for the first one. Let's see how I did. Number one, starting off strong. I don't know. I feel like, honestly, I did a pretty good job. Obviously, things are a little bit different. But as for, like, the pose, I think I did a pretty good job. Like, you can definitely tell that it's photoshopped. Um, but Trey get it, gave it an 8.5. Aspen gave it an 8. And then she changed it to a 2, which was stupid. So I'm literally keeping it as an 8. But um, I forgot to mention in this video that I wanted my siblings to rate each one. My little brother was literally included in this group chat and just didn't respond to any of them. So that's on him. But that was number one. I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video that when Aspen was 18, she was traveling the world. So a lot of her Instagram pictures were pictures literally not in the US, which would obviously make it 10 million times harder to recreate. So I had pretty limited options. I did the best I could to like choose which pictures to recreate. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I know a lot of these pictures are just like, like random like selfies and stuff. Um, but it's because the majority of her pictures are literally her traveling the world. So I did the best I could. So in this next picture, she is laying down. She's laying down on like a blanket that's like dark and I don't have a dark blanket. So I put like a shirt on my couch that I'm just gonna lay down on. Sorry, I'm just like holding you guys. OMG, I'm like carrying you guys. Like you're just a little baby. I'm literally just gonna lay my head on this. Hi. <laughs> this is like such a weird selfie. Like she took this as such a weird angle. She has all of her hair to like one side. Okay, there's gotta be one. Okay, one of those has gotta work. Okay, this is what we're working with. So I kind of realized that Aspen was laying on a diagonal and I am not. I was just trying to tilt my head in the same way, but she's like just straight up laying diagonally, um, which is kind of what Trey and Aspen both said. Trey gave it a six out of five. They literally just said that they Aspen was laying diagonal and then for some reason Trey decided to get so political and draw out a whole entire thing about how we're laying. <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay, I need to take a break. I'm sweaty and I want to eat. While my food is cooking, I'm gonna take this next picture. So she's wearing this like big ass hat and it's just a selfie. Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard because her hat is like bent in a certain way. Is my mic on? Actually, this hat's like kind of moldable. Maybe I will be able to like bend it how I need it to be bent. She basically just has this hat like bent over her eye and then it's just a selfie. So... Bruh. <laughs> Ew! How did she like make that look good? Okay, so like her whole hat's pretty much in the frame. I think my hat's a lot bigger than hers, if I'm honest. Oh my God. Yeah, there's literally no way I'm gonna be able to get this all in because this hat is literally huge, but... Okay. <laughs> mm. So here is how the third picture went. I actually don't know how it went yet. I hope it turns out good, but I don't like any of these pictures. So we'll see. I'm gonna go eat my burrito now. In my personal opinion, this one is the best. Like the hat, the lighting, everything. It's really not bad. I just fucked it up. Um, I think we have different good sides, which I have realized now. So I am like tilting the head the other way and showing my other eye. Um, Aspen gave this a seven. No one else really had anything else to say, but I personally think this one is the best. So it makes me wonder if there was a secret relationship there, but I'm not sure. One 
We are on our final picture. So for this last picture, it's a selfie she took in a car. And she did the, she did these really cute little space buns. And I thought they were really cute. And I think I'm going to do them more often because I really like them. It says they met on a certain day. This next picture is taken in her car. So I'm just going to run down and take it really quick. She has these two little space buns. She's wearing a gray sweatshirt. This is like a really cute way to get your hair out of your face. I'll be right back. I don't know what it is, but like something about me just like doesn't look right. Like my my head looks so much bigger, and I think it's because I'm leaning more towards the camera. But I, I don't know. I just like really don't like this picture. Um, Aspen said I was leaning too far forward. My hand is in the wrong spot, and Trey just gave it a seven. So. That was it. That was the end of this. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which picture you think I did the best. I haven't even looked at all of them yet because I am filming still. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you guys want another one of these. I turn 18. I turn 19 in a couple months, so I could do one of these again if you guys want me to. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye. See ya. Go follow me on Instagram if you want. Why always